guys, I'm here today and we're going to talk about icky bug numbers one, two, three. This is by Jerry Pilato, who is the author, and the illustrator is David Beardzecki and Rob Bolster. That's kind of a hard name to say. So we're going to talk a little bit about numbers and adding and subtracting and counting and about bugs. So let's get started. Let's learn about numbers in icky bugs too. The first number is zero. There are no icky bugs on the red zero. The next number is one. One black ant is walking on the orange number one. One. Count it. One. Yes. Two blue, pretty blue butterflies flew on to the yellow number two. Count them. One, two. One, two. One, two, three yellow moths sit on the light purple number three. One, two, three. There are one, two, three, four caterpillars creeping along the blue number four. Five flies are buzzing around the green number five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six beetles scurry on the purple number six. Seven spiders tiptoe on the light green number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count the sevens too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That says seven spiders because spiders are considered bugs. Eight ladybug, eight ladybird, they call them ladybird beetles, landed on the aqua number eight. Count them. Nine shield bugs jump on the gold number nine. Count these two. These are some very interesting looking bugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Those are some very interesting looking bugs. 10. Yay! Now we're at the number 10. 10 dragonflies just zigzagged and landed near the pink number 10. Count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're so good at counting to 10 with me. Now try counting backwards using different icky bugs. Can you do that? Can you count backwards with me? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You did that very well, guys. All right. Are you having fun counting? Then count some more. Count the bugs on and around each number. I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to hold this up. You can pause the TV or the computer, whatever you're watching, for a moment. Pause and count these bugs around each number. Mm -hmm. Now, pause and count these bugs. Okay, now... I want you to count some of the bugs that are alive. It doesn't matter where they're at on the two pages. Okay? So I'm going to hold this up. And first I want you to find the ants and see how many ants that you count. Can you find the ants? Pause if you need to. How many ants did you count? One. One. That's what I counted. Okay, let's see how many caterpillars. Find, whoop, find the caterpillars. Pause it if you need to. Let's 
let me see how many caterpillars I found. One, two, three, four. I found four caterpillars. Did you find four caterpillars? I found four. One, two, three. Where was my other caterpillar? Ah, right here. Four. Okay. Now, how many spiders can you find? Pause if you need to. Let me see how many spiders I can find. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Miss Dana found seven spiders. Did you find seven spiders? Let me see if I could show you where I found it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and my last one, seven. All right, did you count any other kind of insects? If you want to, you can stop the video or pause the video and count other insects also and see how many you get of each kind. All right. <clears throat> Let's play another game. Can you find a beetle with two feathery, with two feathery antennas, okay? And a dragonfly with four wings. Miss Dana's trying to find this beetle that they're talking about with two feathery antennas and a dragonfly with four wings. Let's see if you can find a paw. Found the dragonfly right here. They have four wings, okay, and a beetle with two feathery antennas. Well, I found it. Did you find it? I did. Right here. Look. I hope you can see that good feathery. Yeah. Cool. Now look for a maw with six ovals, okay? A moth with six ovals. Pause it if you need to. A spider with eight legs. Pause it if you need to. Count those legs. And a ladybird beetle with ten spots. Pause it if you need to. Okay. Now, the moth with six ovals was right here. Your spider with eight legs is right here. And a ladybird beetle with ten spots was right here. They look kind of like a ladybug, but they're called a ladybird beetle. That's pretty interesting. Some good looking bugs here. Okay, now, you counted the numbers from 1 to 10, now count to 20. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of bugs right here. Can you count 20 of these bugs? Miss Dana will count with you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. If you need to pause and count those a little bit slower, that is fine. You can do that. Okay. All right. Now we are going to go and do a little bit of something else. So on here, we are going to try to find, spot some things, to spy some things. Okay. Can you find a bee with only five legs? Can you find the bee with only five 
leg. Pause it if you need to. Can you find a bug, a true bug is what they're called, with one antenna? Now look for the big bugs, not the bugs around the edge. And how many bugs have six legs that you can count? How many of them? All right, let's see here. Let's see the bee with only five legs. See if Miss Dana can find. Ah, I found that bee. Did you find this one here? That one down there at the bottom only has five legs. Good deal. Okay. And the true bug with only one antenna. Did you find this bug right here? That's the one that has one antenna. Yes. And how many bugs have six legs? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is that what you got? Because there's just the one bee that has five legs. Okay? Good deal. Way to spy those things out, guys. You did good with your spying. So, all right, let's talk a little bit about adding, okay? We can add. Add means that you put some things together. Here you can see there was some adding done. Zero plus zero equals zero. One plus one equals what? Count them with me. One, two. So down here you put one, two. Two plus one over here equals three bugs. 3 plus 1 equals 4 bugs. 4 plus 1 equals 5 bugs. So when you add, you put groups of things together and then you count them to see how many there are in all. Okay, and there's lots of different ways to do that and add and count and see how many things there are. Subtraction is when you take away something. So, this spider has caught 7 flies in its web. Three cocoons are being saved and four ants are being careful. I guess those are called ants. So, so here there's three cocoons, but when you look at this picture, how many cocoons do you see? Two. So one went away. So three minus one equals two okay um one three oh yeah three ants went home so four minus three equals one ah, i see the ants they're right here on this side hope you can see them so three ants went home so four minus three equals one okay and the seven flies he caught seven flies can you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Oh, Miss Dana's hands in the way. Seven. <clears throat> but over here, two flies may have escaped. So seven minus two. How many flies are left? Can you count them? Five. That is right. When something goes away, it's called subtraction. So you did a good job. Now we're going to count by tens. That's a lot of fun to do. Let's count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, 100 bugs on this page. Very good. We hope you enjoyed the icky bugs and all the icky numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which icky bug face is your favorite one. Let's see. I think my favorite one is the purple one here. The one that has purple. Number five. Miss Dana likes that icky bug face. All right, guys. Y'all keep on counting. I hope you had fun today with the icky bug numbers. One, two, three.